I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a buck and say that Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures was probably some of the best Star Wars animation that I've seen, even to rival the original Clone Wars. It had the same Samurai Jack style, but with a little bit more emphasis on the actual animation, the movements. There seemed to be more frames in work and well placed it into that anime light category. And it even made me give a shit about the sequel trilogy a little bit more looking at the story between Rey, Finn, and Kylo Ren, it all seemed to flow very well. So when I found out in the newest dump of information that Disney has given us that they are dropping like 10 or so Disney Star Wars shows, Marvel shows, and just Pixar movies, they're dropping so much stuff and I will cover it in subsequent videos one of the ones that really stood out to me were star wars visions now star wars visions is an original series of animated shorts that will be seen through the japanese anime creators lens so the world's best japanese anime creators are going to be working on this essentially this is the first ever star wars anime now since it went out of its way to say that it's animated short films well to me that means that it's going to be more in line with that Halo movie that came out a long time ago where it was a bunch of short films in the Halo universe and even Animatrix which was the Matrix in anime form. I think that's what this is going to be and it's going to be spliced throughout Disney Plus a small limited run series. I'm sure that if it is very successful and it gets a lot of praise then they'll probably do a second season with more anime creators jumping on board. Now are they going to be in English or Japanese? Japanese. Honestly, in my opinion, I think that we should have an option to do both. I think that it should be voiced Japanese with English subtitles and it should be English because it is an anime, essentially. It is Western made or Western backed anime, which I definitely 100% am for. And if they come up with different stories that really resonate, I'll be extremely excited to see that. I would like to see anime stories that take place back in the Old Republic and I would like to see things that are in the New Republic, something that could tie together a lot of these loose things from Star Wars as well as some characters that we really haven't seen more of like Asajj Ventress we really don't know her story besides in the comics so they could actually take a lot of these comic stories and place them in an anime format anime style and it would look dope as hell there's a story where Darth Vader goes back to Tatooine and he's going through a trip down memory lane so that would be really cool a story really cool to be told in anime format in this Star Wars visions I'm I'm sure they're going to want to do their own custom made stories for this but seeing as how you've got so much stuff in the comics that you could pull from i would like to see that as well but they're gonna have to be really crafty as how they do this because they could be stepping on the toes of other shows that have been just greenlit i would imagine that they don't want to add more layers to parts of the universe that are already getting their own shows right now so it's definitely something to look out for i can't wait to see exactly which way it goes vision sounds like it's a slam dunk Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Star Wars anime. And if you like anything I have to say, hit that like button, subscribe. This is going to be Sunscape, signing off. Take care, guys.